Hi everyone, this is Doc Wisdom and today we will talk about Mediterranean Sea. But before, subscribe to my channel, share and now enjoy this new video. Mediterranean Sea is the sea around Italy and is that one surrounded by Europe and North Africa. It's so beautiful because it's warm it's uh, almost always calm, there are very nice beaches and very nice islands, and some of them are volcanic. But it was not always like this. In the middle of Sicily, close to Agrigento, the city of the Valley of the Temples, there's a very particular formation called Scala dei Turchi. It's a very gorgeous place uh, with a particular stairway with natural big white steps. The rock of the steps is called Trubi. This rock is an alternation between marl and limestone, rich in limestone plankton. It's a very important formation that represents the top of another very important formation called Serie Gessoso Solfifera, basically a formation rich in chalk and sulfur. So what did happen to have uh, this particular formation in the middle of Sicily? Let's discover it together. About 7 million years ago, Mediterranean Sea remained isolated because of a kind of uh, dam, obviously natural, that closed the Strait of Gibraltar. So as I said, Mediterranean Sea remained isolated and seawater, as usual, started to evaporate. But considering that there were not provision of seawater from the ocean as today, salt concentration started to increase and some products started to precipitate. So we have the beginning of this particular formation. At the base of this formation we have diatomite. This is a rock formed by diatom that is a siliceous alga so it means that salinity of the basin increased so much that became unlivable for this particular alga that died and created this deposit but in this deposit we can find fossils as well like fishes because salinity was very high for fishes as well so they died and when we find fishes in diatomite this formation take the name of Tripoli higher than Tripoli we have limestone, so a chemical precipitate. So it means that the concentration of calcium carbonate was so high that it started to precipitate. And it means also that all the life of the basin died, in fact we can't find fossils. Limestone is rich in sulfur and the origin of it is very debated. A theory says that chalk was transformed in sulfur by some bacteria and circulating water. Another theory says that hydrocarbons escaped from reservoirs were filled by Tripoli and then sulfur remained entrapped in limestone. Higher than limestone there's chalk, exactly like this. Sometimes higher than chalk we can find salt of chlorine or potassium. As I said, concentration of salt was very very high. The solution was oversaturated. When a solution is oversaturated in a substance, it can't accept more of that substance. So it can't be in solution and it remains in form of crystals. So when the concentration of salt increased so much, salt started to crystallize and precipitated on the bottom of the basin. The weight of the formation compacted the salt and nowadays this salt is dug and used in our table and not only there. This salt is extracted in mines close to Agrigento. In one of them there is a very very particular formation. Salt is less dense than clay for example so it goes up forming domes and diapirs that have the shape of a ball but there are different colors. So we have like an onion with several layers with different colors. So when they cut this onion, the result was uh, like this, a very strange and particular formation. After about 1 million of years, so about 5 million years ago, Strait of Gibraltar opened again and Mediterranean Sea became opened again. There are two theories about how water came back. One is that water came back very slowly in uh, many many years uh, with a lot of uh, rivers. Another one was that water formed uh, like a huge waterfall and in about two years Mediterranean Sea became as we know today 
more or less. So this marked the end of the so-called salinity crisis of Mediterranean Sea, and we have the entrance in the basin of a water rich in life. In fact, there's the deposition of the formation that I mentioned before, Truby, that marked the end of the Serie Gessoso Solfifera. Truby is a rock full of very, very small holes, made by uh, animals called lithophagus animals that eat rocks. So before that Mediterranean Sea reopened, Africa and Europe were linked. This is the reason why we can find a lot of animals from Africa in Sicily and Europe. But it happened another thing. If you look at a global map, you can notice that all rivers flow till a lake or a sea or something like this. The sea is called absolute base level, but as I said, a river can flow till a lake that is called relative base level. Absolute base level and relative base level represent the destination of all waters. When a river reaches the base level, it stops to erode vertically and it starts to erode on the sides. For this reason, a river close to the mouth is so large. When the base level changes, obviously the river must reach the new base level, so it starts again to erode vertically. And the result is a morphology like the Grand Canyon. When the Mediterranean Sea remained closed, probably it happened the same thing to all rivers that flowed till the sea, transforming the dried up Mediterranean Sea in a spectacular Grand Canyon. So, if you like this new video, thumb up, leave a comment, share, subscribe to my channel and follow us on the Facebook page Learning Geology. Big ciao from Doc Wisdom. See you next time.